we have saved the ECO now we've hit the submit button and you can see in the lower left corner it says approval requested and you also see that the approval status has changed to approval requested so here's the first notification going out to the engineering manager this is the notification list inside of the apps these uh, notifications will also get sent through email but uh, this was just easier for demonstration purposes so we're going to go ahead and click on our ECO approval notification and here we can see that it's telling us that uh, ECO M1-1048 is waiting your approval and uh, when we look more at this uh, web page we see the ECO form link if I actually wanted to look at the details of this ECO I could click on this link and the form would open up, up and allow me to uh, review the information and you can see on here too that we've got the re re um, reject and approve buttons that we saw in the workflow when we set it up in this case I've actually clicked on re the request information button and I'm going to request information from a user called uh, Tamara Aaron and I'm going to ask her when is NCOAUG training day now this is not the normal conversation that would go on in an ECO but we're just using this for demonstration purposes because this workflow not only allows us to uh, route workaround but the standard uh, workflow functionality allows us to have conversations back and forth and this is something that I don't too often see people utilizing and not only does that foster that communication but it saves that communication in the workflow tables so we can go back later on and look at it so it's a very nice um, piece of functionality that you need to be aware of and will really enhance your um, engineering workflow process so again at this point we'll click submit and now um, tomorrow Aaron is going to get an, a uh, notification and we'll go ahead and click on on that one the request for more information and here she sees that uh, there's a question coming from Jonathan Smith saying when is NCOAUD training day and she responds down at the bottom Friday February 26 and hit submit and now the engineering manager uh, Jonathan Smith gets that ECO approval notification back and he'll go ahead and click on it and he can see both his question and the answer and now he feels confident to approve this uh, ECO to go further in the process and um, now we're seeing um, the uh, completion uh, notification or really the request for work to be completed here we, if you remember we see our custom message that says ECO M1-1048 has been approved. Please complete the MEI actions. Notice that now it doesn't say re uh, reject or approve up there in the buttons, but it just has the option of complete. So this is the notification I get as a manufacturing engineer that there's an ECO out there that I need to take some action on. I'll go take the action on it, and then I'll come back when I've completed that work and just tell the workflow that this um, task has been completed so now we won't step through the entire workflow but we're going to demonstrate the ability to uh, look at the status of the workflow to look at who's voted who hasn't voted if they voted how they how they voted so we're going to uh, from the header of the ECO click on the tools menu and then click on the view approvals option and then we'll click on the uh, approval process that we want to look at if for some reason this process had been either rejected 
or aborted, we would have multiple records on the screen and the last uh, record will be the current version, but in this case we only have one version, so we'll select uh, it and then click on the status button. And the uh, workflow activity history page uh, will open. When we click on the status diagram link, we can see here that uh, we're at the uh, manager approval step. That's why it's highlighted in green uh, along the box and we can look at the different tabs there, uh, especially if there's been an error, which in that case it would be red instead of green and we could see what the, what the error message is. A user typically isn't going to look at this, it's, it's really more for an administrator.